what is going on guys so i got a package that came in the mail today and i want to check this bad boy out this particular package is from authenticity perfumes let's get into it any of you guys follow my content you know that i'm a huge fan of this particular house as always be careful whenever you open your packages got our fragrances here first of which clean musk i ended up getting like a late notification about this one and so when i found out that this was just recently released i had to get it and the second fragrance Cherryland. this is a release that i was most excited about yo i can't wait to try this one out at all and you have your your general presentation here you got your fragrance sitting here a clear opening authenticity perfumes on the side as well as this side and you have some information on the back premium long lasting fragrances at a reasonable prices 50 percent oil concentration 12 plus hours of longevity and they're not playing about that got some information about the company location two fluid ounces as you can see it's been held on with a ap logo sticker go ahead and open that up and you are met with your fragrance love this presentation it like there's a little bit of a drop shadow on those letters but it could just be my lighting. But it like it's a little bit of a drop shadow on the word musk. I think that's pretty cool. Adds a nice effect to it. Real clean, straight to the point. Ingredient info on the back, barcode on the back. Here's your atomizer here. And as always, we check our spray. Nice full spray on, on that atomizer. And this one is presented very simplistic with the no layout. You're gonna get lime, white musk, bergamot, sandalwood. Uh, what I get, honestly, this comes off like a musky, sexy Sprite. This honestly reminds me of this Oud Lemon Mint, but it doesn't come off as resinous as that. This one's a bit more brighter, a bit more fresh. That musk is front and center, that lime and that sandalwood. Oh, it's a beautiful musk. It's, it's such an alluring white musk. Has just a little bit of a, not really a funk, but just a little bit of a tang to it. That lime comes in and adds like a really nice, sharp, uh, refreshing zest to this. You get a creamy and just chill sandalwood to accompany it. The bergamot right in the opening providing some freshness. This just reminds me of just a sexy, musky Sprite minus the lemon, or maybe even like a, a mojito sort of a vibe. Gives you like a mojito vibe as well. This one is really good, I'm digging this. But what I'm really wanting to check out is this bad boy right here ah oh, look at that presentation on that bad boy and the juice is red come on yo beautiful this look like it's gonna be man it's like it's gonna be crazy i just want to get right into this bad boy got my sleeve pulled up ready to go check that atomizer excellent atomizer as always got the notes pulled up here Cherry, strawberry, lemon, banana, grape, lang lang, salty sea air, cotton candy, as well as vanilla. I, bro, I can't wait to get into this. I'm trying to avoid smelling it in the air. Oh, man. Whoo. First impressions on this, this is going to slap you. This is going to slap you straight in the face. It's called Cherry Land, but cherry isn't what you're gonna get the most of. It's one of the components in this fragrance, but it's not overpowering. It's not, it's not a lost cherry type of a cherry. It's not too saturated. It's not too, it's not too overpowering. Every other aspect in this fragrance is there and able to play a role. Oh my God, this smells so good. It's, it's got all those fruity components in there. But there's something in it that's helping it have a little bit of a, a a muscle, a little bit of a masculine appeal where it doesn't seem like it's straying too far away and becoming something that we can't participate in. Oh, man, it has like this. There's a little bit of a sharpness in here, but the sharpness sort of holds everything because everything is so bubbly and fruity, sweet. And so that sharpness is kind of what holds everything and presents everything to you. It's that salty sea air, 
the vanilla all of this is beautiful the vanilla honestly in my opinion smells aged it doesn't come off typically how i catch vanilla you catch it right at the tail end of when you're getting a sniff a sniff of it or getting a whiff of it you catch it right at the tail end and it smells aged it smells like a darker aged vanilla you're getting like this really light fresh slightly sparkly you get like this sharpness that's in there right along in the middle of all this fruity sweet and just zestiness the banana i did it wasn't it's not coming off the way i was expecting it to everything comes in and just everything is just balanced he, everything every time i see a fragrance and i see the note layout from authenticity and i think they're gonna go this direction i'm like man this is gonna probably be uh it's probably gonna be too sweet it's probably gonna be overpowering and to be honest it's not everything that everything that they do is usually balanced really well if there's an imbalance anywhere it's intentional and it's done well this is blended beautifully you're getting almost like a woody a woody vibe kind of coming in there as well along with that sharpness it's something in there that smells woody that's kind of holding everything uh without it it seemed like it would just be like this bubbly sweet all over the place fragrance but that sharpness and that woodiness that sort of sparkly vibe coming from that salty sea air is presenting everything and having everything uh sort of sitting in its place where nothing smells out of place there's just like a slight woodiness in there it, it is familiar with a lot of its other scents where there's a, a cedar wood present but the cedar wood isn't overpowering it's just right there accommodating everything else and that's what this smells like god is so beautiful yo wow cherry land just a beautiful juice beautiful presentation on that this looks, it just looks so nuclear, yo. Get a spray of that. You're gonna get those grapes, that strawberry, that lemon, the cherry, the 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 salty, uh, airy marine sort of a vibe that's going on. You're getting all of that and it's coming together beautifully. You're getting this sharpness that seems to hold everything. A slight woody vibe. It may not be a wood in here, but there's something that's coming off like a slight woodiness. There may be a lavender in here in here as well, but yes, this is this is beautiful, a beautiful release, and it's it's definitely out of left field. Um, I was not expecting anything like this. Just seeing the note banana and grapes, strawberry and cherry all in one fragrance, you have to you have to get up and purchase this. Beautifully done. As always, I'm gonna drop the link where you can check these out for yourself. These are on his website. They're posted at the same price, $39. And when you purchase these, you're gonna you're gonna get free shipping on any order over $35. So you're pretty much gonna get ship, free shipping every time you touch that website. I am very much so impressed by those with that clean musk, getting like a musky mojito sort of a vibe going on there. Perfect for the spring, perfect for the summer. And that cherry land getting a bona fide summer fragrance as well as the fall i think that can i think that can ride as well in the fall as well with a lot of this tangy fruity juicy vibrant loud and bold then you get like a nice airy sharp component and just a little bit of a saltiness and just a beautiful scent profile overall authenticity perfumes you guys did it again listen that is it for this video you guys like comment share subscribe and i will catch you guys soon peace